One thing that a lot of people are invested in right now when it comes to Star Wars Episode 9 has all to do with Kylo Ren and Rey and the thoughts of what they will be doing in this movie. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams does have a lot of tricks up his sleeve for this movie that will shock and surprise a lot of fans out there. It's also been said that this movie will tie into both the prequels and the originals and change our perception on those films. Now these past couple of months or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now what I find very interesting is of course the concept of Raylo and how this is going to be done in this movie because it is indeed coming in episode 9. However J.J. Abrams will be changing the whole entire idea of Raylo and what fans expect to see on the big screen from Ryan Johnson's view and what he was going to do in The Last Jedi and expanding that into episode 9. So as you all know, all these directors and writers have conversations with each other about the plans that they do have in place with the sequel trilogy. Ryan Johnson had a plan for this concept of Raylo, the relationship between both Kylo Ren and Rey, expanding in a totally different way by use of the Force Bond. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to be treating the character of Kylo Ren and Rey in a different way in this movie, however, we'll be introducing Raylo and changing many different elements of the idea and what fans expect to see in the movie, apart from what Ryan Johnson had plans for and what he had discussed with J.J. Abrams. So this is honestly yet another look at the whole tug of war thing within the Star Wars sequel trilogy between two directors and two writers. You know, we've seen this constant flow within the sequel trilogy of different directors, different writers, and their different ideas, and, you know, different creatives hopping on board of these different movies that really do change the entire plot of everything. So, the whole concept of Raylo in The Force Awakens was very, very light, right? It really all started within the interrogation room. You could see it was starting from that point on. Then in The Last Jedi, Ryan Johnson introduced the idea of the Force Bond sequences to really kind of just grow the relationship between both Kylo and Rey, and even left it open at the very end of the movie by leaving that Force Bond itself actually active between the two. Now, J.J. Abrams will be changing a lot of elements and aspects of Raylo, and will be doing something completely unpredictable from what fans actually expect to see in the concept of Raylo in Star Wars episode 9 that will be a true surprise. So we've actually heard about this lightly before a couple of days ago that the romance in this movie is going to be quite unpredictable and unique apart from Anakin and Padme and Han and Leia. So what can we actually expect to see in this movie when it comes to Raylo? What kind of Raylo are we going to see in episode 9 apart from all the fan expectations? You know right now the big expectation is pretty much the Raylo that all fans like to see you know is of course you know uh, either Kylo Ren and Rey becoming the quote-unquote couple of the Star Wars franchise in the sequel trilogy or something completely different than that. So J.J. Abrams is going to be changing up all of these different ideas that Ryan Johnson had discussed with J.J. Abrams and he's actually going to be changing some of those ideas and elements of the concept of Raylo in order to really make it satisfying to all fans going ahead to see this movie because I do know that a lot of people dislike the concept of Raylo in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, which is fine. I totally get it. You know, I see endless comments from time to time saying how it's too much like Twilight or it could be too much like Twilight in a Star Wars movie. I totally get that. It's going to be a very hard thing to achieve. And in order to pass all these different obstacles, you know, like Kylo Ren being the murderer and killing his own father. I know I've gone over that before in the past, um, but I just think it's a real real hard thing to do by J.J. and Chris Terrio and the fact that they are changing certain elements of Raylo that J.J. had actually discussed with Ryan Johnson prior to filming for Star Wars Episode 9 is a huge question open on the table right now. Does that mean that J.J. Abrams is tossing the concept of Force Bonds 
you know, into the trash can? Is he going to cut all those different scenes and kind of do something completely new and on his own that'll recreate the idea of Raylo in this movie? Now, like I say, I don't know if this is necessarily good for the sequel trilogy, this whole entire tug of war situation, as I like to call it, between both JJ and Ryan Johnson. You know, we've seen the different changes in the scripts before in the past, different ideas, and certain ideas from pre previous movies that should have actually been in the follow-up or the sequel trilogy itself, you know, the sequel itself, like The Last Jedi. J.J. Abrams is rewriting certain elements of the third act of episode nine, so it could have something to do with that, about changing the idea and the concept of Raylo in Star Wars episode nine. You know, maybe originally it was gonna be more around the lines of a happy ending between these two characters and they would be the quote-unquote couple of the Star Wars sequel trilogy and would live on. However, maybe J.J. Abrams is going to make something far darker where one of these characters actually dies or perishes and is left behind and we either have Rey or Ben Solo moving on into the future for a possible future Star Wars film or spin-off or to be expanded in the form of a book, novel, or comic. You know, there's endless possibilities here of what they could do. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.